Hey guys, welcome to this edition of Centico's Bass. I'm heading back out with Chris, going back to Pino, and hopefully this time it's not a micro show. But I am hoping it's going to be another juicy show. This is his eighth day in a row fishing. He's on a marathon. He's on vacation from being a dad because his son is in Arizona with his mom. So he's been a machine and been fishing every day. After this, he's going to be kind of busy. So this might be one of the last times I fish with him for a while. Hopefully it'll be another juicy one. Hope you enjoy it. I got. I need a juicy shot of, of Rick. <laughs> he's so tired. Just head go down. Get out of here. His juicy. friends are gonna kill him. You don't understand. That's what he's up a against. juicy shot there. Rick's friends are hardcore, man. You don't know. We don't get to fish with Rick much. He's in the sauce spot right there. I think two of his homies are over. Hey, Rick. I got the camera on now. Yeah, I turned the camera on. How you doing? You ain't, you ain't catching anything? Well. I think your hearing aids turned Well, off. we're here to follow you around. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have a, a juicy day with Chris. No, no, we're not. I never agreed to that. Do you know where the sauce is? <laughs> no? No. The spot, the spot you're in is not juicy? No juice? It looks juicy. There's a lot of like, there's a lot of reeds and and stuff. All right. All right, evidently we're going this way. Maybe we'll meet up later. All right, you can come join us. We're gonna be over here. Do you have something against Rick? Come on, I was having a good conversation here. All right, guys, I don't get it. I don't know what's up. Evidently, Chris does not like Rick because I don't even know where we're going now. We've never been over here. I don't know. I don't know what's up, guys. I don't know. We're like I don't know what's up. Huh? We're supposed to be out here having a juicy day and and. I don't know what's up with this guy. Can we make it through here? All right, we're gonna try. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God, guys, I've never been on an adventure like this with Chris. I guess that's what happens when you go on a juicy adventure. <laughs> hey, it's Rick again, guys! <laughs> we just went, I don't know, we went somewhere weird, dude. We went on an adventure. We went, we went back in that way. This is a, this is a totally different kind of show. We're, it's, it's the Rick show. We're tailgating. Yeah, we're tailgating Rick. It's a juicy day with with Chris. Yeah. We're not even fishing. We're just... We want to watch this guy. This is Ocean Diablo. He's the man of the myth. So. I could have barbecued hamburger. We're going to have a catch and cook right on the lake. No? Fish. <laughs> First cast. Sorry to break up your guys' history lesson, but I'm here to I'm here to fish. Hey, Rick! I'm sorry. Are we too close to you? Yeah, we gotta move further down. We gotta try the juice. You gotta try the juicy spot. Hey, Rick! Hey! Oh, this fish feels actually bigger. <laughs> this fish feels bigger, guys. He was out further. Whoa. Whoa. What? I almost had one. I got one. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Come back here. Man, he will not give up. <laughs> Come here. Oh, whoa, Jesus. First keeper in the boat. Fishing this juicy spot here. 
sick again, man. They're, they're out of here good eating. See ya. You tried the Ned yet? Rick? Hey, Rick, you tried the Ned? Me? No, I haven't tried it. He hasn't tried it. He hasn't tried it? No, he hasn't tried it. He should try it. All right. I'm getting, the, I'm getting the relay here, guys. He's way over. He's way over there. So he's talking to Chris, and Chris is relaying it to me. And then I'm talking to Chris, and Chris is relaying it back to Rick. So no, he has not tried the Ned yet. He's going to go flip for some Sankos in the weeds. He's going to go flip some Sankos in the weeds? You're going to flip some Sankos in the weeds? think so oh okay well okay we're firemen at heart guys we like a, a chain of command don't try the ned rig <laughs> the ned just fetches logs yeah that's probably gonna break off it's my last one yep no more ned <laughs> ned is toasty woasty There's a fish. Damn. It's a nice fish. <laughs> I'm like, no way. <laughs> he was out further too. <laughs> wow. Jeez. The power in these guys right now, guys. Power. There we go. Yay. Starting to find some fish out here, guys. Starting to find some fish. Straight down. See one? <laughs> Got a number. Little tiny guy. But it's a fish. It's a fish. Oh, hey. Day's going pretty slow. I got a couple keepers. We were kind of having fun and following Rick around in the beginning, just kicking back. Now we're having an issue because the trolling motor, I guess, the, the rope wrapped around it and it was on. It says the battery's dead. I don't think the battery's dead. It probably just clicked something in it that says it was on and it wasn't spinning. We got oars. So at the moment, we're just, he went and plugged it. We're just going to let it sit, see if the thing gets going again. But we still have that spot. We can just row to it and sit. Kind of row down a little further. We're checking it out. So the day might be a little tougher than we thought. We're going manual. Chris just blew out the trolling motor. Oh, there's fish here. <laughs> Little guy, but there's fish here. Bike row! Got one? Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Came off. On that big thing? Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I just had one too. Yeah, I might as well head down a little further now. Probably more is one thing, but I think the oars uh, might spook them a little more. Try right up here. They just try right out here. Ah! Keep hitting the freaking camera with the oar. The heck is up? Gotta find some fish. They done moved. We're rowing. It's a lot of fun, guys. It kills my shoulder. People are gonna think we came out here and did this on purpose. Eight days and you burn out your trolling motor. Oh my god. Ah! Fuck. Freaking hit the freaking camera again. This is going to be one great video. I'll just try right here. You always love this point. Just getting close. <laughs> right, we got all worked out in sequence. <laughs> Another fish! A lot of gold on stuff. There's a lot of grass over there. Yeah. Look at that. Again. 
Must have helped you so I've seen the grass in here and whatnot. Don't see much of this grass in here. Tons of it over here. It's not the hydrilla. It's that long. That's the stuff that always grows up and gets kind of matted on the top. This is done. No more, no more rowing and stopping. He's throwing in the towel. Oh. I'm hopping and help row. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this edition of Seneca's Bass. Sorry I was with an incompetent idiot today. <laughs> All right, I was just kidding. It's just because he said, I just don't want to come off as an incompetent idiot. So I had to throw that in. <laughs> when he said it, he knew he shouldn't have said it because he knows I'm going to throw it in the show. It was just a simple mistake. I mean, he's left the trolling motor on by accident behind and it's just... This one in a million chance that somehow the, the freaking rope wrapped around it and had to mine twice and I was just out there having a good day and all of a sudden went to turn it on and nothing. So we had to spend the time and row back, which gave us both our exercise for the next year. Robinson Crusoe. <laughs> <laughs> but other than all that, I mean, I caught a couple fish. Fishing seemed to be slower anyway, but things happen. Shit happens. It just happens. But at least I got a couple before that and couple little ones but yesterday's show was really good and we had those great shows so kind of a wah 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 ending to the last five out of six shows being with Chris that we suddenly got stranded and had to row back but I hope it was entertaining our misery I just hope it was entertaining that's what I was going for and the entertainment value and I hope you enjoyed it and please join us for our next Center Coast Bass Fishing Show this one started out and it was gonna be a juicy show but I think the juicy and the sauce jinxed it <laughs> I tried to go all hip with the juicy and the sauce thing and suddenly something bad happened so maybe I should back off trying to be hip and young again but please like give us some likes share and as always sub if you haven't Hope you like